stay in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralf Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. We're northeast of Budapest for today's race at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring circuit. 14 corners here, eight to the right and six to the left on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Perez, Norris, Stroll, Hamilton, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Magnussen, Albon, Benjamin, Joe, Hulkenberg, Behrman, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And joining me in the commentary box this afternoon, the first lady of world motorsports, Naomi Schiff. Now, sadly, things didn't work out for them last time. It was a bad race. Question is, though, can they recover today? It is true. They had a really tough day in the office last time out, but they cannot dwell on that. It's so important to turn the page and start on a blank slate because the more you dwell on that, the less it's going to push you in the right direction. So take some notes. Obviously, there's things to be learned, but move on. OK, you know this, but this track needs a lot of downforce, and as such, we're not going to have quite the same top speed as other circuits. The good news, though, is that it's going to make our DRS even more powerful. So try to make the most of it in the race and quality if you can. All set here for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Should be a lot of fun. I did not qualify the best, but that was kind of be expected, um, considering the aerodynamic um, problems that we've been having specifically downforce and how this track is set up so uh we're going to try our best but i don't expect a whole lot out of this race so let's jump on into it maybe we can make up some spots off the start a uh, bad start here Let's see here Get out of here. Safety car deployed. Stay positive. Okay, watch your pace. We'll, be well we got a safety, safety car. Out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stock vehicles on the track. Is that how I planned on this going? But right, it may work. Speed. Our delta is too low and we're going to risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. And I'm thinking about having the pit crew ready. For a pit stop. We'll see what everyone else does. But I don't think it would be a terrible idea. Play some strategy. We started out back in the field. Come on, drop it. And I guess having a gap doesn't really hurt me at all. More than anything, it actually benefits me because I can see if these guys are going to pit here. Let's see here. They are not. I'm going to give it a shot. I should have had them replace that wing. But, oh well. I don't think it should hurt me too bad. And actually, fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. We also go eh. strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Theoretically, the tires can make it to the end. I do expect this to go green. This lap, so I need to catch up fairly quickly. 
and it's going to just going to be surviving to the end of the race or anything. And I know it popped up the uh like damage report or whatever, but I don't actually see, and maybe the left front or the left side of the front wing just a little bit. It's a lighter green than the rest of the car, so maybe there. But overall, I'm not sure how that worked out in my favor. And maybe it doesn't really end up being in my favor, but. The fact that I'm technically up at stop on all these guys, I guess helps me. So. And technically I'm out. Yeah, it doesn't even have me scheduled for another stop, so it could work. It's going to be a long run on the cards, but we'll see what we can do. It's going to be a long fight forward um, with this strategy, so we'll see what we can do. Off to the races now. See here. Lots of ERS used there. Keep going. Unfortunately, they're all going to have fairly fresh, softer tires, which is going to be a disadvantage to me. And we really just got to hold our ground until pit stop. So we'll see what we can do. Hogenberg is out of the session. I about just ran into him, but no safety car or anything like that. It was in a pretty safe part of the track, just kind of stopped in the middle of the track, unfortunately. And I about ran into him, really, so. Just gotta play a long game, wait for everybody to make their pit stops, and that sort of thing, so. We'll keep fine and see what we can do. Pit stops are beginning here. And we'll see how much the strategy has paid off. See how many people we can jump. And what all this strategy entails. Already jumped up to 13th. And once this happens, we're going to have a lot of defending left to do. So we'll have more guys playing this time around. I expect to be swamped here pretty soon with guys who have just made their stops. But anything to try and land ourselves in the points here after a bad qualifying result and the mishap in turn one. I'm guessing Leclerc will pop out in front of us, or at least he should. He's quite a ways ahead of me here. And I was slowly catching the group in front of me here, so uh, that should help me as well. Is the fact that I was starting to catch some of the guys on medium tires, so we'll see how we do here. All the ERS burn here. Right into the thick of things. And to was this going to be seventh? Overshot that corner. Going to be seventh or eighth. Looks like I can hang on to seventh okay, four right, now. They get more wing damage. Wing, I'm trying to see. I don't think we've got more wing damage. I've not raced around cars all this entire race. It's slipping and sliding everywhere. Why did it not? Okay, we're going back down to a non deploy. I about got spun there. 
and here's where the fun part begins we've got half a race left actually over a half a race 18 laps to be precise and I'm at 25% on the tire or left front tire it'll make it the distance but um, it's going to be a matter of how well we can defend these other cars off so we'll see what we can do caution somewhere on the track I think it's behind me though Looks like one of the McLarens. Um, I've been able to hold up really well. It's Lando Norris who's out of the session. I was really hoping that second DNF that we usually get would come in front of me, help me jump up in the points just a little bit more. But it's not meant to be. Currently sitting eighth. Uh, Hamilton got right past me, but since then I found a groove. And I've been able to hold everyone off since then so we'll see what we can do we've got uh, what is this three laps now let's go we'll keep buying we need to try to beat out Russell for sure because I believe he is a driver who we have the championship points battle with so it's important for me to get to finish ahead of him, we gain extra points over him and continue to fight for that rivalry, especially since we haven't been uh, racing the best overall. Should be Norris right there. Russell with a bit of a dive there. Going to kind of check everyone up behind him though. And. Yeah, it's just going to be the process of blocking everyone off for another two laps for the end of the race. Shouldn't be too bad. I've managed it for the last 18 laps or so. Shouldn't be too bad. I guess it's more like 15 instead of 18, but still, it's done really well. Managing everything. And just gotta defend. These are the big parts right here. Where they've got the DRS, they're really, really fast. I also deploy down this little section, pull a little bit of a gap going into this next corner after this. Going into this corner. And then from there, I can just kind of park it where I need to on the track to defend everyone. And I keep getting green sector ones. I don't think they're actually my best sector through there, but it keeps telling me that they are. I highly doubt it sometimes, but makes me feel good at least. Oh, I overshot that corner just a little bit. Might be okay though. Go. And last lap of the race. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Just gotta defend. Really just gotta defend through this little section one more time. I could try to force Russell out here really badly. Oh, and I just messed it up for myself. By trying to take out Russell, I messed it up for myself. I'm not going to get any points. Unless I just absolutely send it. If you continue to cut corners, the stewards are going to give you a penalty. Be careful. Oh, I already got a penalty. There we go. Okay, that was a nasty hit. Uh, I top. probably should have just gone options. for the regular finish, but I don't. That was such a long race. We're retiring. It gave me the option to restart the session. I'm not driving my 
35 laps. I'm already tired from that. So just a stupid move on my part, but going here. The player in fourth, he actually dropped some. Let's see what's next. Verstappen, Sainz, Alonso, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll, Hamilton, Russell, Gasly, Piastri, Sonoda, Ocon, Magnussen, Albon, Behrman, Botas, Guan Yu, Self, North, and Hulkenberg, the two DNFs. I should have just kept what I was doing. Taking my what? Uh, eighth would have got me four points. Yeah, I should have just taken those four points and run, but oh well. Live and learn, I guess. And we'll move on to the next race. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the. See what we can do in terms of upgrades. Championship rivalry. Yeah, I should have just taken the points. Because now Russell is ahead of us. That was kind of scary, the face he made. Uh, let's keep moving here. I don't know how my rating could possibly go up. Awareness is going to go down. I'm going to say focus goes way down. But my overall goes up, so I guess that's a good thing. And I think I completed all my specialist goals, which is good. Nope. How did it? I definitely did that. Uh, okay. Uh, keep moving here. Need to get a downforce upgrade at whatever cost it is. Because I'm sure I forgot to also increase the downforce in my car for qualifying. So that did not help me either. And I'm going to have the downforce upgrade for this race. Since we're heading straight off to. What was that? Spa? That we're going next? Yeah. Belgian Grand Prix. But. Let's see here. Let's get. I guess let's get some drag reduction. I don't even know anymore. No, we'll get the major upgrade. I need these to be unlocked and they're unavailable to me so we'll figure it out from there nothing we can do anywhere else we got something nope that's all we can do for now we'll see what all that brings us Let's see here i've got two upgrades in the works player's got one and yeah we'll go from there so Hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next one.